I don't know if you can hear the fan in the background, but if you can, I'm sorry. So I felt like uh, there's a lot of stuff happening recently with the Try Guys, especially actually only uh, Ned. No, different Ned, but to get some views, but to let you guys know what's actually happening and to also educate myself, I thought I'd make a video about it. Now, if you're new to my channel, it'd be important for you to know that I do not make these types of videos ever. My entire channel is gaming, but we're almost a minute into the video, so I think we ought to get started. Now, if you don't know who the Try Guys are, um, listen to their name. They're guys who try stuff. They were initially from BuzzFeed, but they ended up separating to YouTube and forming their own company. The group consisted of Keith, Ned, Zach, and Eugene. All the guys had something that made them who they were, but Ned was the family guy. He'd constantly talk about his wife and how amazing their relationship was. Now, if you don't know already, then this is where it all comes crashing down. It turned out that while Ned was talking so much good stuff about his marriage and his wife, he was cheating. Now, I'm saying this like the entire group has split up now, but he's actually the only one who's been fired because he's the only one who's done anything wrong as we know. But I think the biggest issue aside from him cheating is the fact that he's built himself up as this big character who loves his wife, loves his family, and wouldn't do anything to harm them or hurt them in any way. But he totally just contradicted that. And he didn't just ruin his trust with his wife and his kids, he also totally broke the trust of everyone who supported him throughout his career. NPR, Vanity Fair, and New York Times have all made articles on this, but what's kind of embarrassing is that BuzzFeed made an article about it. Now, the article from BuzzFeed didn't really say anything bad about them or anything about them being related to BuzzFeed other than every other article said, but unlike other articles, it did say this. I looked in other articles and I couldn't find anything that said anything like that, so I'm not sure if it's just a BuzzFeed thing that they have to say since they are BuzzFeed, but if you know anything about why they have to say that, I'd love to know. Cause I'm kinda wondering whether that's to assert some sort of dominance or if it's just a legal thing. Now back to Ned. It's suspected he was cheating on his wife with a woman named Alex Herring, who seems to be an associate producer at Try Guys and is related to something on the Try Guys channel called Food Babies, but I'm not totally sure what that is. It turned out Alex was also cheating because she was in a relationship of 11 years with her fiance. Now Ned is officially not in the Try Guys anymore and in their newest video, um, as we're recording this, it turns out that they totally cut him from the most recent video which is interesting, but totally makes sense, because after this, you probably wouldn't want to put him on the channel. Ned released an apology that was in the form of an image on Twitter, but it was also not taken very amazingly because of multiple reasons. I feel like part of it was when he said, I'm sorry for any pain that I may have caused, and how that was supposed to come off as like former I get, but it's also like, you totally caused a lot of pain. Thanks for watching this video, um, I don't normally do these types of videos, but if you want me to do more, tell me, because it was kind of fun. Huge thank you for anybody who inspired me to do this video, but especially Jimmy Robin. I highly suggest subscribing to him, because he is so good at making these types of videos. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.